Okay, so hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul video and I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of products that I have picked up from online and a couple of stores that I finally went back to to pick up certain makeup brands. So I am going to be sharing those with you. I was debating on making this its own separate haul, but I decided to share these things with you first because I will be having a Sephora haul and a Ulta haul as well because I have been accumulating a lot of things from Sephora and Ulta that I'm finally just going to record those separately. So I just decided to record everything else that wasn't from uh, Sephora and Ulta in this video. This is probably going to be the shortest video out of all of them because there's not too many things here. But I just thought it was interesting enough to make it its own video. So first off, let's start off with one of my favorite brands. Basically my favorite brand ever. Um, online wise and that is ColourPop. So I am going to be sharing with you just a couple things I picked up. Really nothing too major. I did pick up two new lippies though and then I also picked up a bunch of backups that I needed of certain eyeshadows and eyeliners that I wanted to make sure that I had backups of because those are things that always go bad first so I wanted to grab those but I've been looking at these lippies for such a long time that I finally decided just to grab them because um, I knew with this order that I wanted to get these, so I got the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips um, in the shades Little Stitches and Molly. This one is Little Stitches and this one is Molly. Obviously, it always comes in that same packaging with the yellow tops. So this one says Little Stitches and this one says Molly. I don't know if it's like upside down. Little Stitches is upside down, but I always hear Little Stitches being talk talked about. It's like Hard to say like a million times without like tripping on your words, but this is what the color looks like. That's what it looks like right there. I've already worn it once, so the name kind of wore off already. And then this is, it says little stitches on the bottom. I'm probably going to wear it tomorrow too, um, but I have worn both of these lippies once already. And this is what the color looks like. It's a really gorgeous like pinky nude color. I can tell why it's such a popular shade because I really don't have a nude pink quite like this. It's like a cool tone nude pink. It's really, really beautiful. I kind of want to compare it to Bianca and see how the shade is, but you guys know I love these Ultra Satin Lip Formulas, and this one is a really, it's a pretty good one. It's not as good as my Magic Wand in Echo Park, like the first ones that I had gotten, but they're definitely, this one's definitely better than the Kathleen Lights ones. I still like the Kathleen Lights ones, I just don't think they're as good as the Ultra Satin Lips um, in like the regular line. And then the other shade I got is called Molly. I've been eyeing this shade for such a long time that I'm like, I just finally need to pick it up. I know I've said before that I need to stop picking up so many lippies and there's like four lippies in this haul, but actually there's like six lippies in this haul. So it's a lot of lippies again, but there was just a lot of um, lipsticks that I wanted to pick up. So this is the other shade that I got, and this one is called Molly. Also, I was thinking about including Makeup Geek in this haul as well, but I haven't been able to order it yet. Girls gotta work in order to afford some makeup, so I haven't been able to order the foiled eyeshadows yet. Um, and I have a lot of stuff coming up that I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to pick up or not. But anyway, this is a really gorgeous purpley pinky lavender it's just gorgeous not really a lavender like a muted fuchsia I would say it's so gorgeous on the lips it's a little bit more purple on the lips and I just think it's such a gorgeous color it's probably one of the most gorgeous colors they've ever done I feel like this will be such a beautiful spring shade and it kind of sucks that I wasn't able to wear this more during the spring I don't know why it's coming off a little bit chunky um, but it does not come off like that on the lips it comes off really beautiful so that was the second shade that I got. And then the other things that I grabbed, like I said, were backups of things that I needed. So first I just picked up two eyeshadow, um, two eyeshadows that I needed um, replacements of. And these are some of my favorite eyeshadows, so I wanted to repurchase these. So this one is Sequin and this one is Get Lucky. Sequin is just this really gorgeous... Um, rose gold shade and that's what it looks like. I did use it once already and I just noticed such a difference in like the pigmentation and the performance of it. I felt like this eyeshadow dried out really really quickly so I hope it doesn't do it again. 
But this is definitely an eyeshadow that I would repurchase like a million times over. It's really gorgeous. I really love this shade. So it's just beautiful. That's what it looks like right there. It just has a beautiful like gold reflect in it. It's really gorgeous. So that's the first one. And then the other one that I got is called Get Lucky, which is probably my go favorite gold eyeshadow ever. It's literally so gorgeous. I was looking at it last week or like two weeks ago in like one of my lookbooks and I'm like oh my god it's such a gorgeous eyeshadow on the lid like I was just staring at my lid I know like that sounds weird if I like stare at myself but I'm not staring at myself I was just staring at the lid shade because I'm like it really is a gorgeous eyeshadow so that's what that one looks like it is a um ultra metallic finish uh sequin is a metallic so that's what it looks like it's so beautiful like look at that can you, like, ask for anything more in, like, a gold? And that's what it looks like right there. It's, like, blinding. It's, like, so blinging. It's gorgeous. I love that shade. I love it. So those are the only two shades that I got backups of. I might have to get a backup of a couple of other ones um, soon. I can't remember off the top of my head of which ones I need, but, yeah. So those are the two eyeshadows that I got and then I decided to pick up a bunch of backups from eyeliners and these are the shades I decided to pick up I hope I have all of them here I could have sworn I got five and there's only four in the box hmm. let's see which ones I have here hold on I could have sworn I picked up five Maybe it was only four. Let's check the website really, really quickly. Or do I have an order from? You know what? I might have an order from in here. Let's check really quick. Actually, yeah, there's only four. My bad. Um, so yeah, I only picked up four. So these are the shades that I got. They're all just backups, so I'll just read the names really quickly. But they all come in the same packaging of the cream gel liners and the first shade I got is Swerve which is like a matte black the second shade I got is Stomper which I believe is a brown the other shade I got is Bee Sting which is a really gorgeous turquoise and Honey Dude which is their nude liner so I'll just show them to you really really quickly if I could get it out of the packaging <laughs> Yeah, so this is like my favorite black eyeliner. This one is Swerve for the waterline anyway. And that's what it looks like. It's just a really gorgeous black. But I don't like how they like kind of change the packaging where now it's like a little bit more pointy. So hopefully I'll like it. I kind of liked when they were a little bit more curved. I didn't really like when they were that precise because they kind of hurt your waterline a little bit. I kind of like the older ones a little bit more. But we'll see. And then the other one I got... It's called Honey Dude. Just looking at my eyes for a second. I just feel like the eye color that I wore on my lid kind of faded, but I kind of like how it looks right now. I don't know. It still looks like a little bit of like a faded blue. Then this one is called Honey Dude. This one is the nude liner, which is probably one of my favorite ones to wear for everyday use. So I knew I had to pick up a backup of this. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Let's put these back. And heel. And then the last two. This one is called Stomper. It takes so long to take out of here. I'm like, <laughs> this one is called Stomper, and this one is a really pretty brown. I don't really, I'm not really gonna swatch them because so you guys have seen these like a million times, and that's what the color looks like. Hopefully, I don't crush them. Um, by putting down the caps like really hard. All right, and then the last shade is called Bee Sting, which is probably my favorite one out of these. And this one is a gorgeous turquoise. Really gorgeous. I was really upset that they had... Wow, this one doesn't even... Oh, okay. Um, that's what it looks like. Really gorgeous shade. I love it. I've talked about this one like a million times. Um, but yeah. Um... I was really upset when they discontinued Piggy Bank. I wasn't able to pick up that shade, and I was so upset because I'm like, that's like my favorite one, and they discontinued it, and I really wanted to pick up a backup because I use that one like so much. 
and they did add a little note with like an elephant on it it's really really cute it says hey love you're amazing and there's no buts about it it kind of looks like this was printed though but it, it's still cute and that's what it looks like um it looks like a little elephant i don't know is that an elephant probably not i don't know it looks like an elephant tail i don't know what that is or a butterfly i don't know and then it just has like a little book in it, which is really, really cute. Tips and tricks and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I got from Colourpop. Then the next um, thing that I decided to pick up is I decided to go over to a Rite Aid because I did recently watch a haul video from... Um, the Fancy Face, I really, really love her. I think her looks are amazing. She is so talented with makeup. I don't know why she doesn't have more than 75,000 subscribers because she's freaking amazing. And um, I saw her post about Rite Aid in a haul video because I actually forgot that I wanted to go and look at certain items from this makeup brand. Um, at Rite Aid because I had found on Girlactic.com that Rite Aid sells Girlactic products. So that's why I wanted to go look at it. And I saw, like, from the last time I had looked it up that, um, a Rite Aid that's near me, which it's only like 10 minutes away from me, I saw that they sell Girlactic products. So, but I kind of forgot about it, and then when I watched her video, it kind of reminded me to be like, oh, maybe I should go check out some Girlactic products. And she went in there originally, to, I think, to like purchase Wet n Wild brushes or something, and she didn't know that they had Girlactic in Rite Aid. So not a lot of people know, like you kind of, like, but I knew because I looked it up. I was kind of surprised that she didn't though, because you know, she buys a lot more makeup than I do. But it's okay. Like obviously, she like she doesn't need my permission to be like, oh, like you need to know about this. So. Yeah, she's amazing though, and um, so I decided to pick up a couple of things myself from Galactic. It was just really awesome to go there and actually swatch a few of the products. So all I did was pick up powder products because I actually really do love their powder products, and I will be talking about a product that I am absolutely obsessed with already. Um, but I am just not a huge fan of their lipsticks and their lip gloss. Well, I have, I didn't get to pick up one of their lip glosses yet, but it's like, since I love these lip glosses that I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip with a ColourPop Ultra, Ultra Glossy Lip over it. I love these lip glosses so much that why do I need to spend freaking $18 on a lip gloss when I can buy the $5 ColourPop ones? These are amazing. I'm wearing one right now. And it's just so comfortable on the lips, and they go on so smoothly over any lip product. So the first product I decided to get is I finally wanted to pick up, like, a new bronzer because I feel like that I'm always using the Too Faced bronzer, like, every single day, so I kind of wanted to pick up something a little bit different. So it was really, really cool to, like, swatch everything and look at everything in person. I was really torn as to whether I wanted to get a lippy or a lip gloss or to get th this um, bronzer or, um, a lippy, but I was like, I remember that I really don't like the lippies too much, so I decided to get this instead, and this is the Galactic Beauty Matte Bronzer in the shade Cabo. I see this bronzer being talked about all the time, and I know that Young Wild and Polished and Kathleen Lights, like, absolutely love this bronzer. This is, like, their favorite drugstore bronzer that I was like, you know what, I need to finally pick this up. So this is what the packaging looks like. I've always loved their packaging. It's just so pretty and girly. I don't know. I love it. It obviously says Galactic on it. And then on the back it says Matte Bronzer in Cabo. And then this is what it looks like. I've already been using it a lot. And this is what the shade looks like. And then I will swatch it for you. It's a little bit rough. It's not as smooth as like some of their other powders. But honey. This bronzer is so gorgeous on the skin. I was so nervous about like if this bronzer was a better shade than the other shade that they had. But they said that this was like more for fair skin tones and the other one was more for like deeper skin tones. And I felt like the deeper skin tone one was like dark, was lighter for some reason. Not darker, lighter. But this is so gorgeous on fair skin. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing this like crazy. I think it's so beautiful. 
I'm not sure if it like kind of faded. I don't know. I've had my makeup on for a while today since like 3 o'clock. It's like 11.30 at night. So I just felt like recording this now because I feel like I have no other time to record a video. So I did record a video last night as well. But this video will probably go up first because you guys know I need to post my haul videos like as soon as possible. And then the next thing that I picked up is I was obviously really enjoying my Galactic Blush in the shade Naples, this star blush in the shade Naples, that I really wanted to pick up another shade. So I was really torn as to which shade I wanted to get, but I was like, you know what, let me just get this one. Because I wasn't too crazy about the shade selection, and then I was like, well, this one's really, really pretty. So I got the star blush in the shade Milan. I'm not going to say the Galactic Blush, because you guys know, obviously, it's from Galactic, because... That's the store that I went to for these products. So this is what the packaging looks like. Again, I wish that their blushes were a little bit bigger. I don't know why they're not as big as like some of their other powder products. And they're so tiny. And this one says Milan on the back. Did I say in the shade Milan? I don't think I did. Anyway, it's in the shade Milan. And then this is what the color looks like. I think it's just such a pretty color. Again, their powders aren't like super smooth. But once you apply them to the face, they apply really smoothly to the face and they're like super pigmented. Oh my god. This really does not swatch like anything, but it really is beautiful. Like, for some reason, my hand does not want to pick up product right now. You really can't see it. I don't know why. Oh, that's like a terrible swatch. What the hell? Let's try it on my other hand. There we go. It looks like that. See, it's very faint. I'm like really digging into this. But I already wore it um, like once. I haven't had a chance to wear it more, but it's really gorgeous on the cheeks. It might not swatch that well, but it really is beautiful on the cheeks. So I knew I was going to love this as well. And the last thing that I got, I actually got accidentally, but I kind of want to keep it and try it out and see how it is. I wanted to get the... Face Glow in the shade Luster because I really love the Galactic um, Star Powder in the shade Natural that I wanted to get another one. But this was with the highlighters and I thought that this was a highlighter as well because I was like, oh, it's right next to it. This is the one that I wanted. But I was like, I could have sworn the one that I wanted was called Luster. So I decided to get this and this is more of like a highlighting primer. This is the Galactic Beauty Skin Glow in the shade Glamorous. And when I saw it and when I was putting it on, I'm like, this is really pretty on that I think it might be really nice like underneath a powder highlight that I think I'm going to try it. So this is what it looks like. And I was thinking about returning it, but I was like, I don't know how Rite Aid's policy is about returning something that's used because it's not like Sephora or Ulta where you can just go and return it. So... I want to try it out. I've already swatched it a bunch of times, so I don't want to go return something that I already, like, dipped my finger in. So, this is what the color looks like. I think it's, like, a universal color. When I first swatched it in the store, I didn't even realize it was a cream product. It didn't feel like a cream product to me. It kind of felt like a powder. And then, this is what it looks like. Um, it's really, really gorgeous. Like, really pigmented. And I think it's just going to be really gorgeous on the skin. It's kind of going to work like a little bit like the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. That's what it looks like right here. But obviously less intense. But I think it's going to be a really pretty glow on the cheeks. So I'm excited to use that. I just always end up just using a powder highlight because it's so much faster for me. And I don't really have time to use liquid highlights half the time. But since this is a cream, I might have time to do that extra step in the morning to make my highlight a little bit more poppin'. But I do still want the... Uh, face powder in the shade um, Luster because I really wanted that because that's what I thought that I had gotten and then I got this by mistake but we'll see how it is. Um, I might order that at some point. We'll see. And then the next place that I went to the day after that, I was actually waiting to see if one of my friends were going to be able to do something and then she wasn't able to do it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop by Kohl's and see if they have um, more products from the balm. So that's where I stopped by and I picked up just two things. Didn't go too crazy. Um, so the first thing that I got, I actually really wanted to try out another one of their shades of liquid lipsticks because I actually really love the one that I have that I'm like, you know what, I think I need to pick up another shade and see 
if I still really love it. And I do love their formula. I only have one shade though, so I really wanted to pick up another shade. So I got the, the Balm Meet Matte Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sincere. Obviously, I'm always picking up nudes because I feel like I just wear nudes the most and I'm able to wear them as much as I can, even though I'm not wearing any of the lippies that are in this haul today. But I really enjoyed the formula of these. The only thing I would say is that the shade selection could be a little bit better for like nudes and stuff. I hate when companies don't come out with too many nude shades. They come out with more bolder. I mean, it's not like this is not a wearable color, but I like shades like this or something that's a little bit lighter because I love my nude shades and I wear them like so much. Sorry, my boyfriend had texted me a little bit ago. Okay. So this is what it looks like. I love their packaging. Everything that they do is so cute. It always looks like a magazine or newspaper headline. And it says the name on it. And then it says the name on the bottom right here. And then this is what the color looks like. The only thing is that I kind of feel like this color is very similar to the color that I already own. And I didn't feel like it looked very similar in the store. And then when I got home, I'm like, wow, this is only like a little bit like darker than the shade that I already have. So this is what it looks like. It kind of just, you know, they're very warm shades, which I like. They're very orangey, which I think is going to be pretty for the fall. I'm probably going to wear, still wear this a lot, but I just feel like um, I wish it was a little bit more brown. I thought it was a brown nude in the store. Maybe it's because I swatched one of the brown shades, but it's okay. I'll definitely wear it, and it's not like I can return that either. Like, I don't want to return used products to, like, these bigger chains because I don't know if they accept them or not so I probably could but I don't want to go all around the island again just to return something and then the next thing that I got was one of their blushes even though I'm not like the hugest fan of their blushes like they're good but they're not like blow me out of the water their powder products are great don't get me wrong I love their highlighter and stuff like that but I feel like their blushes could be a little bit more pigmented um, but I decided to get this one because I've been hearing really good things about this and I thought it was just a beautiful shade so I just decided to get this as well. This is the Balm Beach Long Wearing Blush in the shade Balm Beach. That's the shade. So this is what the packaging looks like. Again, adorable. Love their packaging. And it says the Balm Beach on the back. And then you slide it out like this. That's how all their blushes are. And then this is what it looks like. I just, oh, their packaging is so adorable. And I just thought this would be so cute for like summer days and stuff like that. But I've been wearing it now, obviously, because it's just like a nude blush. So this is what the color looks like. I just love how big it is. And I love the, like, it's not like flimsy packaging. Like, it doesn't feel cheap. You know it's going to close. And it's just lightweight and nice to hold when you're doing your makeup and stuff and I just really like the pan size. It's a really substantial size and it says warm it up. I just think it's so adorable and it comes with a little mirror which is actually a pretty good mirror. Wow. Sometimes they're like really cheap mirrors. This is actually a really nice mirror. Okay. And then this is what the color looks like. It's like kind of like a nudie pink. Pink? Like a nudie pink? And that's what it looks like right there. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to swatch it a little bit better for you. And that's what it looks like right there. Kind of similar to Milan, but it's a little bit more warm. Well, a lot more warm. It just looks similar to its swatch, but it is really gorgeous. I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks right now. Mixed in with a little bit of an Urban Decay blush, but mostly it is this. And it's just really, really gorgeous. So it's a really pretty peachy color. You know, the colors that I usually go for. So that was that, and then the last things that I'm going to show you are a couple of things from Lime Crime. So I did just order a couple of more velveteens that I'm going to share with you. I did just see that they launched more foiled eyeshadows, but I'm not like too crazy about the shades still. I was thinking about ordering more, but I really wanted to get these first because they were actually having a 20% off sale. So I wanted to pick up a couple of Velveteens because I've been wanting these for quite a while. But I was like, might as well take advantage of the 20% off. So then this is what the packaging looks like. So adorable. Love the box. It's just so cute with the pink packaging. And then obviously it has the three lippies in here, right there. And then I'm going to show you what is which three shades that I got. I actually haven't even swatched these. I only 
no, I haven't even swatched them or worn them on my lips yet, like tried them on my lips or even worn them out yet. So this is kind of a first impression for these. You guys know I love wearing things before I even haul things because I like testing things out and giving you guys like my thoughts on them. I just feel like that's more helpful than just like showing you what I bought, you know? Like I kind of, I like wearing things and telling people like what I think of them. So yeah, these are the three shades that I got. So obviously same gorgeous cute packaging that they've always had and these are the newer um lime crime grunge prairie like prairie collection ones that are more like a grunge um collection so i got three of the shades um and these were 20 percent off so you're basically getting like one for like five dollars if you do the math because um they're all twenty dollars a piece but they were 20% off, so I'm basically getting all of them for $16. So I'm paying $45 instead of $60, which is a pretty good deal to me. So it's basically like getting one for 5 bucks. so I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, so these are the three shades that I got. So I got these shades Prairie, Saddle, and Rustic, so I will share them with you. So the first shade is called Prairie. And then this is what the color looks like. It's a really pretty, like, pale pink color. And then it says Prairie on the bottom. Right there. And then this is what the shade looks like. I hopefully will be able to wear this one this weekend. It looks really pretty. Again, people are saying it's very similar to Marshmallow, but I think Marshmallow is a little bit paler than this one. And then that's what that color looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't really have a nude pink from them like that. Because Marshmallow, well, except for Marshmallow, but this one's more pink. It's really gorgeous. I'm going to wear that probably on, like, Monday. Oh, so pretty. So that's the first shade. <coughs> and then the other two shades I decided to get because I was eyeing them so much for fall. I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to be so gorgeous for fall time. So the next shade that I got is called Rustic. I kind of already popped it out of the box, but that's what the box looks like. Obviously the same as usual. And then this is what the color looks like. Really pretty, like, warm terracotta red. Kind of similar to Riot, but people are saying that it has a little bit more red in it. And that's what the color looks like. Oh, so pretty. It has, like, more orange in it than um, uh, Riot does, and that's what it looks like right there. So pretty. It's kind of similar, like, it kind of looks like if Riot and Pumpkin had a baby, this is what it would look like. Because Pumpkin is more of, like, a warmer shade, like a warmer orange, and, um, like a dark, warm orange. And, um, what's the other shade I just said? Riot is, like, a Marsala color. So I feel like that's what it will look like with those shades mixed together. Really pretty shade. Wow. And they're, like, really opaque. So that's that shade and then the last one that I got is called Saddle and this is what the I love how I've shown you differently what the packages look like every single time and then this is what this shade it looks like right here really beautiful and it says Saddle on the bottom and that's what that color looks like Ooh. And this one is just like a little bit lighter than what Salem looks like. And it's a little bit more of like a warmer chocolatey brown. And that's what it looks like right there. So pretty. I'm so excited to wear these for fall time. I was kind of like hoping to get a couple more shades for fall. Basically done now for fall lip shades though because I have my fall lippies already. I was thinking about getting a couple from Makeup Monsters as well. But I no more lippies after this. Um... Because there's probably only like one other lippy that I'm going to share with you. Or like two other lippies in the Sephora and Ulta hauls. Because for Ulta I picked up like one lipstick. And then for Sephora I picked up... I'm going to be intending on picking up two. Because I'm sharing something else that's not going to be from Sephora. Um, but yeah. I just really wanted to take advantage of the 20% off. I just thought it was a great deal. So I got those. And then the last thing that I wanted to share with you are just two things from Lush. I just decided to throw this in here because I don't want to throw them into the other hauls that aren't from Sephora or Ulta. So the first thing that I got is just a backup of my Aqua Marina Face and Body Cleanser. You guys know that this has basically become my favorite face cleanser from Ulta ever, 
Ulta from Lush Ever. It's amazing. So this one has um, our squishy pink cleanser inspired by mermaids. Contains calmline, aloe, and mineral-rich seaweed to soothe and calm the skin. It's amazing. It just feels so amazing on the skin. Oh, crap. I kind of stuck to the top. So that's what it looks like. Not going to tip it over too much because it's kind of like not packed in like the other one was. This one was like basically already packaged. Um, that should be enough though for a little while, but I think it's great. It has seaweed, camline, it smells amazing. I love it. I use it every single day and it really smooths out my skin really beautifully. I just really love that. And then the other one that I got is the um, Fresh Face Mask in Brazened Honey. And this is a revitalized tired skin with warming Oh my god, I can't say this word. Ayurvedic. It's A-Y-U-R-V-E-D-I-C. -A Probably butchered that. Herbs and spices, ground almonds to polish and moisturizing honey. I've been interested in trying this one for a while. So that's what it looks like right there. And then it looks like that, and it's yellow because of honey. And this one smells really, really good as well. It's really, really exfoliating. I have been enjoying it. I just feel like it dries really, really quickly, and I don't like that too much. But it does exfoliate your skin pretty well. And I, I do notice that my skin looks a lot brighter after I use it. So I have been enjoying this as well. Um, but I have been just been I have just been picking up face masks. Um, I probably need to pick up one in like two days and I also need to pick up a shampoo but I'll share that at some point probably not because I'm already sharing that I got these and this is going to be expired soon anyway so I wanted to share this one I did also pick up BB seaweed but that one is pretty much expired I have to clean out the pot to save it and yeah that's pretty much it let me stop telling you about expired products but yeah that was already a 30 minute video so that would have been too long of a video if I decided to put stuff from Ulta in this haul as well. So yeah, that's it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at CBW819 and my Twitter is PokerFace819 and my Snapchat is PokerFace819. And I did wear um, a new shirt from Hot Topic today that I just wanted to share with you. It's so cute. It's Doctor Who themed and it has like flowers on it. And it has like the TARDIS and Daleks on it. It's just so, 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 so cute. And I also wore my matching charm bracelet from Doctor Who. As you can see, I'm a huge fan. And it has the TARDIS and a bow tie and Daleks on it. I just, I love this bracelet. I love the TARDIS on it. It's so adorable. But yeah, I just thought it was so cute and girly. Like it has like this really cute, like, um, it's just really long on the sides. And yeah, it's like a high-low kind of top. And I really wanted to wear it before, like, fall is over because it is still, like, kind of hot out. And I can't wear something like this in, like, the winter time because it's, like, a sheer top. But, yeah, I just thought it was so cute that I really wanted to wear it. And, yeah, that is it. Bye. And I kind of did, like, a neutral eye with a pop of color on the lid. So I used, like, Urban Decay on my lid but and my crease. But I always list everything I use in the description box below. So for whoever asks me what my highlight is, what my eyeshadow is, what my lippy is, obviously lippy is like the most popular question. It's always in my description box below and I basically already, did I say last dance or did I say Times Square? I'm wearing Times Square on my lips and fairy floss over it from ColourPop. So hopefully I didn't say last dance. I don't know why I always want to call this lippy last dance because that's not what it's called. And yeah, that's it. Bye.